Well, hey, y'all. It's Crystal Hunsucker. Happy Magnanimous Monday. Welcome to your Million Dollar Message. Hope you had a super fantastic Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be quick today. I just kind of want to share from my heart, and then I'm going to give you uh, just a little idea to run with over the next week, uh, because we are like in snowpocalypse <laughs> down here. I mean, normally, okay, so first of all, I think it might have snowed once, maybe once, since Boone has been born, and so it's been like a huge, huge deal today that there was snow on the ground and he got to go outside, but the problem is, is it is freezing. We are having record-breaking like, it hasn't been this cold on this day in North Dallas in, like, a gazillion years. I mean, I don't know the exact, you know, record, but we don't have 13 degree, degree days. And it was 13 degrees today. So, <laughs> with that said, uh, I'm going to give you a little idea. Whether you're in a snowy area or not, I'm assuming most of the U.S. right now, I mean, there's quite quite a large percentage that are being pretty affected by this weather. And so, you know, basically we're kind of getting all shut down for the next few days. Uh, I actually drove today, which I'll tell you a story. But I just kind of want to back up. And first of all, those of you who have a sweetheart in your life, I hope that you chose to squeeze the lemon on Sunday. I hope you found time together to show love to the people that you love. I hope that you jumped on social media and bragged about them and just did all the things, you know, um, maybe shared a meal together, um, just what, whatever that looked like for you. I hope that you did something to celebrate each other because that doesn't always necessarily mean spending a bunch of money or anything like that. A lot of times it just means that you're just together, you know, doing something great. So, uh, with all of that said, um, as the weekend was coming, we were actually going to have Boone's birthday party on this Valentine's Sunday afternoon. It was just going to be he wanted to go to the movie. We were just going to run. I rented the movie theater. Uh, I don't know if they're doing that in your area. It's the coolest thing ever for, like, now this was a new release, so it was 150 But most of the movies, you can, like, rent the entire theater for 100 bucks. Uh, for most movies, not the newest releases, but isn't that so fun? I mean, if you didn't know, it's out there. A lot of you already know this, but that's what we're doing for his birthday. Well, the girl that's doing our cake and everything was like, hey, but I see I'm not going to be able to deliver the cake. You'll have to come get it. And I was just like, I see. I mean, I know like the weather's going to get cold, but what is she talking about? And so that's when I get on and I'm like, oh my word. And all of a sudden, like 30 minutes later, they're putting church on online only. I'm getting phone calls. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what is happening? And in the past, I'm like, this is either going to be like an epic storm or it's going to be an epic fail that we're all going to laugh at. And, I mean, in Dallas, everyone goes crazy, y'all. I mean, every Waverly, like, went to the store. She's just moved into her new house, and there's no onions. <laughs> and she's like, thanks, world. I needed one onion to cook what I wanted to cook, you know. <laughs> So just crazy. Everybody kind of panics here, and it's not like it's going to last that long, but it's kind of looking like it could last through the week this week. So with all of that said, I was just kind of thinking today and just uh, reflecting. I love to reflect at different times of year, and uh, if you're single, I just I really want to speak to your heart because I have so been there, whether you are newly single and this is a new season in your life, or you're like me and you were always single. And I was 33 years old in 2013 and uh, single again, and I was at a place in my life that I did have joy. And I think that's the first thing that I want to challenge, not only people that are single, but people that are married and in a relationship. Because I think sometimes we completely lose sight of the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Uh, we just lose it. I mean, when you're single, all you can focus on is especially, let, let me be clear, I am the first one to raise my hand, especially on Valentine's Day. It was always like, <laughs> I'm alone again. I can't, I mean, it was hard. It was work to have joy 
on Valentine's Day. I'm just being completely honest with you. Uh, if you've ever watched Bridget Jones' Diary, I mean, I totally felt like sometimes I lived out those moments where, like, she was sitting on the couch drinking the bottle of wine and uh, Celine Dion, uh, when I was young, I was all by myself, don't want to be, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, and the drum solo comes, and anymore, and she's like, duh, duh, duh. I mean, I have had that moment, you guys, so if you relate with that, <laughs> I have been there, and, but I've also now married, I want to tell you a little story about today, and what happened, and what I did. And so sometimes we can just lose the joy even when we're married. So I've been planning on this birthday party. We were supposed to have company in town. And I started this new eating plan. So I'll just be completely honest with you. These are all excuses. But I've just been a little off this week, okay? And so uh, as today was coming, last night and this morning, I was having these thoughts, Okay. And this is like girlfriend talk. Like, literally, I am talking to you like we're sitting on my couch in my living room in front of my fire. So that's always my goal with you. So I hope you feel like that. And so uh, literally, thoughts that were going through my head were like, I really hope Brad doesn't drop the ball this year. I really, you know, and in in my head, I'm thinking, he better, he better have gotten me some flowers. He better have done something because he is last minute. And I thought, there's no way. He can go run and do it how he usually does it because this weather is coming and we had a busy day yesterday and I was just like, I'm just being, I'm being so vulnerable right now with you guys. I mean, I am thinking these thoughts and I have an incredible husband. So all of a sudden, what I'm saying is, is that I was single and I was struggling with joy and all of a sudden I found myself in my dream life, you guys, in the dream moment with my two kids. I have a beautiful, warm house. Uh, I have a wonderful career. I've got this awesome family. And I am sitting, letting joy be sucked out of me. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all know where I'm going with this, right? And I'm letting Satan win a battle this morning. So I'm I'm thinking all these thoughts, and I'm like, I just hope he did something because my feelings – are going to really be hurt. I mean, that's where I'm going with it by the end of the afternoon, like by mid, like the early afternoon. I'm like, my feelings are going to be really, really hurt. Because in my head, I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm going to get up and he's going to like walk in um, in the morning or, you know, or I'm going to walk into the kitchen. That happens a lot. I just walk into the kitchen and ta-da, there's like goodies there. So none of that had happened. So like I'm playing this game. I am literally, I have lost joy in the best season of my life. Now, isn't that interesting? Because I could take myself back 13 years ago where there was no Brad, which, P.S., if you are single, something I said daily is, but I could meet him today. And I said that every day for years, you guys. I just bought into God and God's plan. And I knew at one point that, but I could meet him today. I mean, I don't don't know him. I don't have the guy, but I could meet him today. And I'll never forget, I went to dinner, you guys. My mom and Bill at that time had been married for several years, and they had already celebrated Valentine's. So on Valentine's Day, they wanted to take me to dinner. And so I'm like all couples, (laughs) and then me and my mom and Bill. And we went to this fabulous Italian place, Nicola's. And it was so fun because when we walked in, uh, lo and behold, Mary Kay friends were there because it was Million Dollar uh, Week weekend uh, for the Million Dollar Directors with corporate. And so they were having dinner at Nicola's at this incredible Italian place that shops a legacy in Plano. And so I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm seeing my friends, like all this great stuff. And then four days later, you guys, four days later of, I don't know him today, I met Brad. (laughs) What? Oh, my gosh. So I hope I gave somebody hope. But I also hope that I just reined you back into the reality of All those years that I was single, most of them spending Valentine's alone, not all of them, but most of them I dated here and there, but most of them I was single, and I almost lost my joy today. In the best season of my life, I literally smack dad 
in the middle of the dream. And how many of us do that in our lives? How many of us do that in our Mary Kay business? Like you are smack dad and then you don't want to live complacent, but you also, you guys, you have got to be grateful for what you have and where you're at, you know? And I think we really, I think we struggle with that in Mary Kay because we're goal setters, right? We're goal getters. I mean, we're going to go get it. And when we're not reaching our goal, we can tend to forget how far we've come, you know? And so I just really want to encourage you with that. So the story gets better as I'm finishing the story, you guys. I found myself this afternoon having a couple of hours. It was almost, I think it was like 2 o'clock, actually. So it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm looking on Instagram, and I see a girlfriend of mine posting about the goodies that she got her kids for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And you guys, I was like, oh, my word. I, I, I didn't get anything. I don't have anything for my kids. I had a card for my husband. I didn't have anything. And I looked at him and I said, Brad, I've completely screwed up. You guys, it's 13 degrees outside. <laughs> it's 13. I'm not even exaggerating. It is snowing. And I don't have anything for my kids. And I just looked at Brad and I said, I've completely screwed up. It is literally the first time I've done this since being married and since being a mom. And I said, I've got to go to Walmart. And he goes, take my truck. You can do it. Don't go over 20 miles an hour. (laughs) Because Walmart's like just a couple of miles down the road. And I went. And I probably overdid a little bit. But you know what? On my way there and on my way back, I made a decision. I was like, I am going to make today all about them. So I came home and Boone and I got paint out and we painted signs. We have everything prepared to make cookies, but we got sidetracked with having fun. We just got sidetracked and we didn't eat dinner till late until we ran out of time. And so we've got cookies. We're going to make Valentine's cookies a day later. We're going to make them on this magnanimous Monday. And I just spent time with him. And then I thought of ways, what can I do uh, on top of the things that I purchased? (laughs) What can I do to make Brad feel special? And one of the things that I sometimes lack energy in is unloading the dishwasher. Yeah, anybody? And uh, there were dishes in the sink. And I thought, you know what? He's cooking dinner tonight. I bet it would make him happy without him telling me. I don't need him to tell me thank you. I don't need him to say, oh, wow, you did that. I wanted to do it because I really felt like I had dropped the ball. And so what I'm saying is is that I chose to find ways of quality time and acts of service for where I felt like I'd missed the mark because, you guys, I am words of affirmation and gifts. And so for me, and that's my love languages, if you've never taken the love languages. So me forgetting to purchase a gift for someone that I love was like the ultimate um, the ultimate sign of failure, basically. So with that said, I got so many great goodies. Walmart still had tons of wonderful things. My kids were happy. My husband was happy. And let me tell you, praise the Lord that I did that because Boone and my husband had, uh, when it was a little before dinner, I went in my room to do a little bit of Bible study. When I walked out, they had gifts and a floral arrangement that my husband had put together and I opened these gifts and they were amazing. Like my husband ahead of time had ordered me a ring and it's this little band and it says Boone and Beckham. It says both my boys names on it. And I was like, what if I would have screwed up? (laughs) Like this is so special. And he bought me a couple of other gifts and I was just like, Oh, thank you Lord. And I was so grateful because I was safe. But the, the point of the story was, though, not that, ooh, I went and bought the gifts. It was I had to make a total shift for the day because I was losing my joy in the minute of it, focusing on myself, focusing on what I wasn't seeing, focusing on what I didn't have, and um, was blessed beyond measure by the end of the day. And my husband cooked me a filet and asparagus and sauteed mushrooms. It was amazing. It was so good. And so. Uh, last but not least, I do want to give you a really fun idea. Thank you so much to Sherry Pierce. She uh, posted this on our director group, and I just loved it. 
So if you are in Snowmageddon, Snow Day, like all of us in Texas and a lot of areas in the United States will be, I would use the script. If you are not, I would be thinking of people out of time, out of town that live in these snowy areas that you can still do this idea with because it was just so genius. So thank you, Sherry. You're amazing. So um, it's a snow day sell. And just hi, Susie Q. This is Crystal with Mary Kay. Do you have just a quick minute? Great. Let me tell you the reason for my call today. I am so excited. My unit is in a contest to have the highest no day sales today. And can you help our team win the contest? Plus, it's a win for you. So consultants can choose one of these ideas or, you know, make up your own. So one is uh, basically uh, I I will do this. I actually on other days I would call this a pinkathon sellathon. But you can say your snow day deal today is is that you are going to let somebody, anybody, it could be they they buy an eyeliner or they stock up on all their Mary Kay for the next several months, and you are going to pull one of those sales tickets free. Or half off, I'm sorry, not free. (laughs) Wow, you're really generous. Half off. You're going to give a total order half off. So they're either going to get an eyeliner half off or they're going to get their entire order half off. You could also do a product of the month where one lucky cus- – oh, and you could do a whole order free, you guys. That was one of her ideas. Do the whole order free. You also could do everybody that orders that day 10% off. You could have a product of the month that they get for free with their order on your snow day. You could have a winter white sale with that 10% off. Um, you So those are just a couple of ideas. But why not turn this into a $1,000 day? And or even a 24-24-24 challenge. Contact 24 people, sell those $24 in the next 24 hours uh, for this snow day sell. So whether you live in one of our snowy areas or not, I still think you could do a snow day sell. I still think you could run with this idea because everyone's watching the news. Everyone's watching the crazy weather that's going on everyone else. So even if you're down in South Florida living it up, um, we're totally jealous of you guys. I know Kristen right now, I've seen her picture. She's at Disney with her mama and Luke, and they've been at the pool. So she could still, even though the people that live in Orlando, they could still do a snow day sale because part of the world right now, part of the United States is in a snow day. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that this message blessed you. I hope it gave you just a reminder of um, – a great idea, but also just the joy down in your heart. And um, whether you're single, I give you some hope and some love. And if you're uh, in a relationship or married, that I really inspired you um, to not take things for granted. And maybe you had a little day like I did. But um, I love you guys. Raise your hands in the air so I can bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May you know that if God is for you, who can be against you? With God on your side, whom shall you fear? May you be like a tree that is planted by rivers of living water that your leaf will not wither. And whatsoever you do, say it with me, it shall prosper. Have a beautiful day. Happy snow day.